I want to share something with you guys from Fundstrats Mark Newton. He put out a note today saying, Tech saves the day again. He believes the lows for this March decline were likely made on Monday. He believes that the S&P gets back up to 4025 in the next couple weeks. And he says technology might very well continue up without any meaningful consolidation, at least in the near term. Why is you're making a face? You're looking at I, I don't know what these guys at Fundstrack drink. What do they do? <laughs> what planet are they living on? You know, we've heard the bullish call for a couple of years now. Well, the market's going not down. That far away. Okay, but it's not that far. But look, I don't think the bottom's been put in, right? That's the primary call. The bottom's put in. No, it hasn't been put in. Okay, and as far as tech goes, I mean, it's a momentum trade. It's purely a momentum trade. You can't tell me the, the fundamentals of Microsoft are better today than they were a month ago. They're actually not, okay? So you're still seeing the economy slowing. You're seeing cloud slowing. You're seeing data centers slow. So it's just people looking to hide. When you hide in a place, right, you're the first to come out when it starts going down. So I wouldn't put new money in there. Having said that, I did buy some more Google this week, right? And it's a trade. And um, I'll keep some of it for the long term because if you look two years from now, three years from now, stocks will be higher than where they are now. It's just a so, question you're putting But Weiss, I want to push back on him. The S&P's at 39.20. He says it gets up to 40.25 in the next couple of weeks, 100 points in a few weeks. And you're saying he's he drinking said the McCoy? bottom's in. The bottom's in. Read that. You said I, I the did. I, I read okay. it. But I mean, so the bottom's not in, is my point. I think you drink Kool-Aid. You know, well, they drank Kool-Aid at Jim Jones's uh, retreat as well, and that didn't work out so well. It's a so it's, it's no, optimistic Kool-Aid. Kool okay, so, so first of all, <laughs> on the mega caps, they are the best banks in the world right now. Yep. And that's really a part of the fundamental story where you're seeing a lot of return to capital back into them. The mega cap put, we learned that's what's in place this week. It's not the Fed put, it's the mega cap put. Now, let me share the ugly part of it. The ugly part of it, is I don't own any of them. The ugly part of it is the strategy, the quality momentum strategy that's publicly traded doesn't own any of them. They liquidated them in the fourth quarter of 2021. To your point on momentum, momentum as a factor is down 9% year to date, okay? Momentum came completely out of all those mega caps. And a lot of the non-discretionary funds followed along with that, and that's where the consensus playbook came into okay. play in 2023 where no one owned them and right now but do you regret that do you regret it well i mean when when you when you look at performance of course you regret right. it but you don't regret following your strategy over the long term you have a rules-based strategy and you follow it when you look at where you are right now frank of course obviously you right. look at performance you say yeah i wish i was there but it allows you to understand what's going on in the market right now and have the humbleness the respect that right now there's really no strategy that's working because all of that consensus, even the consensus that there was going to be a strong economy and a soft landing, that is getting obliterated. That's where the capitulation is ultimately happening. And you're seeing those funds flow back into mega cap. They're the best banks around. Does it continue? That's the question. And candidly, I don't think anyone knows the answer to that.